I have my completed joystick analog interface. So this is the makeshift joystick that I built out of wood blocks and PVC pipe. And the each axis on the joystick is attached to a potentiometer, which is way down in there. And the potentiometer is attached by this circuit to um, a set of uh, comparators uh, that are attached with a resistive uh, or wired to a resistive ladder for reference voltage. And um, basically as the joystick moves, these comparators, the, the, um, the voltage is changed based on the potentiometer and the axis of rotation. And after that, the, um, the, it's, the signal is sent to the comparators and uh, against the, uh, is referenced against the reference voltage, which is attached to the um, inverting um, input of each comparator. These are LM324s. So LM324 is a quad comparator uh, chip, and there's two of them, so you get a total of eight bits. Um, and we have one in the Y direction and one in the X direction. And as you can see, when the joystick is moved in the X or Y direction, here's in the X direction, you can see the movement across all eight bits and in the Y direction. And I have a spring here attached to the joystick, uh, which allows some negative feedback on the feel of it. And it basically springs back nicely to the zero position or the middle position. Each, these are wired as window comparators. So this is why it appears that uh, the, um, the LEDs are in dot mode. Uh, basically, I've wired these LEDs in series as a window comparator circuit in the reverse direction from the resistive ladder. So the uh, power of the VCC is right here and the negative rail is on this side. And so they're wired with the positive lead of the LED in this direction and then um, going this way and then this last one is just wired to ground um, so that you could get an individual LED lit to give you an exact coordinate of where the joystick is, the joystick position is at all times. And this is all completely analog. Um, because of the mechanics and the makeshiftness of this joystick, the uh, Y direction travel is not uh, is not as much, and so in order to allow for a full uh, travel, I have added this potentiometer here attached to the Y direction um, analog uh, window comparator circuit in order to um, be able to calibrate it at any time. Um, and so it seems to be able to calibrate uh, from from bit zero to bit seven, or bit one to eight, whatever you wanna, however you wanna call it, um, based on this um, potentiometer setting. And you could adjust the central position to any value just by adjusting this potentiometer. But it seems to be pretty good. And then in this direction, in the, uh, um, in the X direction, we're fine with, without having to have a calibration because there's so much allowable travel leeway in this direction. Um, so that's basically it. I've wired to these window comparator um, and a little uh, eight uh, female leads in the Y and X direction to be able to output it to any um, other visualization system such as an LED cube or um, a Raspberry Pi or a microcontroller of some sort uh, in order to
to provide that data. Um, and uh, this has many applications, including the potential for designing some kind of a 3D, uh, 3D game, either to be played on an LED cube or on a computer device, um, but or positioning a robot arm or uh, controlling a servo motor. So anything is possible with this uh, particular setup. And, um, but, and I like the fact that it's all analog. There's no programming involved in this and there's no um, microcontroller uh, or need to charge anything. This is basically controlled from um, just a, a power source from the, the uh, cable that I hacked right there. And, um, and that's it. Uh, let me know if you're interested in the design or uh, the circuitry involved, but this is basically a simple window comparator uh, circuit um, to determine position uh, in an XY plane of a very makeshift, very analog joystick. Maybe I'll spray paint this to make it look pretty. Uh, but and that's basically it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Thanks for watching.